Hello, and welcome back to the Adrian Bauer Project. Many, many thanks for choosing to click on my thumbnail and to watch my content. Very much appreciated as always. Okay, so part six of our Revel U-boat submarine build. Um, if you missed part five, I'll I'll put it up there as a little link so you can click on it and go back and watch it if you uh, want to play catch up and then come back to us here. Okay, so if you can remember from last time, um, I'd uh, painted all the base coat onto the decking and we glued the decking into place um, it was a little bit of a squeeze it's a bit of a tight fit to be honest uh, but we got there in the end um, I do need just the smallest smidgen of filler on there there is a little gap there uh, but for the most part it's gone on fine so as we can see if we can get that to raise up so we've got his uh, little snorkel contraption there that's fully working like i say it didn't need any glue on that bit so okay so that means we can now move on to the conning tower now if you can remember before i had uh, glued the sides of the conning towers together but none of the decking was in place so what we're going to do now just uh, move them out of the way a minute so we're going to be going on doing all these bits here and there and there and we're going to get the conning tower finished so um no, no word of a lie yes i've already done it as you can tell by the, the ticks on the on the pictures on on the instructions so what i'm going to do i'm just going to give this uh, little run through of a little photo montage that we've done uh to tell you uh, uh how, how i got on with it and then we can have a look at the completed conning tower okay so as we can see from the first uh, six photographs um, we put together all the decking and all the components for the conning tower and then we started to add uh, the railings around the top part uh, also added a couple of step ladders and there was some support struts there as well um, I put uh, the radar antenna and aerials onto uh, onto the top uh, deck there as well as you can see and they were all left to dry for 24 hours so as you can see now from the next section of uh, photographs uh, what i did was um when the original lot had been dried there were some little handrails that went around uh, the outside of the conning tower I put those into place and let those dry forgot to take a photo of that pot sorry about that and the following day after those had all dried I continued on with the rest of uh, the railings and uh, any other little bits and bobs that needed gluing on uh, there was some some pipe work to be put on um, there was a little a bit of, of an issue of a fit which I will go into in a minute uh, but uh, for the most part the fit was pretty decent and uh, we all got that into place and was left to dry and while that was drying uh, I decided to do the periscopes now I was going to paint the periscopes separately but I thought oh, well I can I could just do it all all in one go so as you can see they were all glued together um, they do move up and down although I won't be I won't be using them up and down all the time if you know what I mean uh, it's like all the, the components on this submarine that move I think it's just a bit gimmicky uh, for my for my liking but uh, there we go so that uh, is as far as we got on that bit <laughs> sorry I forgot to do it shazam 
<laughs> there we are. Okay, so as we can see, this is all the build done on the conning tower. And as I said before in a video I did uh, the other day, this conning tower is a model build all of its own. You know, it's part of part of the bigger picture, but this this is uh, quite literally a, a model kit on its own to doing this. Um, it's a lot of gluing and waiting, gluing and waiting. Um, I think you will be tempted to try and get it all done all in one sitting, and I advise against that because uh, there's just you know there's too many opportunities here to knock little bits off the, where the glue hasn't set. So, um, like I say, I put all the decking into place and then glued that top part of the conning tower onto the, onto the bottom. Let that dry. Uh, now, there are a, a few a few little gaps here that's just going to need a smidgen of filler. The, for the most part, it went well, it went together really well. So, I left that to dry. Then the following day, put these interior walls in and all, all the insides there put the aerials on and then I did this top part of the railings and then I left it alone to dry uh, I'll have to you know emphasize on that once you've done that bit let it dry overnight because this um, there are little holes that they go into but they do keep popping out if you just happen to nudge them and the, the glue's not dry, so just let the glue dry solid, give it 24 hours before you move on to the next bit. So when all that had dried, what I did, there's these little grab rails that run along the side of the hull there. Once again, I did those and then I put it to one side and let it dry for 24 hours because again, these are going to be very, very easily knocked. Uh, then it was the following day that I moved on to these last railings round here. Now, as you heard in the little montage there, I did run up against a little problem. Now, we've got this part here, which is a, a pipe, which is glued on to the side of the hull. Now, the end of that pipe goes behind that bit of railing there. And quite honest with, with you, I think it's a little bit of a bad design. I was in two minds whether to cut off that down part there because it pushes right up against that pipe and it really stops you getting the bottom of your railings into the uh, location holes there. In fact, it took a hell of a lot of doing. What I had to do, I glued all the, all the way around because it, it's two halves, all the way around there and left, left that bit um, unglued until that bit had dried. And then I went back in and tried to tackle that. And even now that one's popped back out again, which is annoying. It was in when I left it. And I did actually put a bit of tape into it into place. And it's just popped itself out because like I say, it's that part there is pushing up against the railing there. Um, when you come to do it, you may want to take that part of the railing out. I don't know. Uh, but what I'd suggest is um, I put that on, that pipe on, and then do the railing second because you know you put your railings on, and then you've got to wiggle and jiggle and get, try and get that pipe in there, and it's bloody awkward, and you've got to push those out. So, but that's how I do it. Whether you do it that way or not, it's up to you. Uh, another one part of this, uh, though, that is a little fiddly, a little bit tricky, is this. This like, I don't know what it is. This, this that gantry part here, whatever it is, I don't know what it is. I'm not, as I say, I'm not an able man, I'm a leg man. Hi, thank you all. Um, the locating, locating parts there are very, very shallow. Um, again, I had to use a little tape to make sure that that part stayed upright because on the back of there, there are two sort of like indentations where those struts go into. Uh, but they do keep popping out, so you do have to tape those until the glue dries. But there you go, we've got all that done. Of course, we've got that bit of piping on there as well. That was all that done. So that is the conning tower done. So 
all that was set aside to dry for another 24 hours and like I say it has got a little bit of weight to it it's not as light and flimsy what you think it is um, but that's the complete build so now what I've got to do I'm going to go away and I've got to mask off the decking area so I don't get grey paint onto it uh, now this rim around the decking there just there and along there that needs to be grey it is black because that's I just blatted it all with black so what I'm going to do I'll sort of mask off all, all this area there just leave that round that area around there where it is grey so there is some demarcation of where the bottom of the railings are so that's going to be another couple of days work for me because when I've done that I'm going to have to prime it and then when I've primed it I'm going to have to put the base coat on which is the same colour uh, I think it's the the sea grey which is on the top half of the hull there which is going to be onto there so that will be that uh, that little uh, project to be done uh, just before I do go off and do that this is the periscopes and as you can see they do move up and down but I think it's a bit gimmicky, gimmicky. Uh, there's that aerial kind of thing that doesn't even stay up on its own that, just, that does go up and down you're supposed to leave it going up and down but there we go uh, it's only going to be that top half that's going to be painted those parts there are going to be hidden so you don't have to worry about seam work on that part there and you don't have to worry about uh, painting it either uh, what I did find was the holes just there which that goes into just needs widening just a little bit it's a little on the tight side now whether that's because I've got paint in there it's a thin layer of paint I don't know but it's, it's going to need uh, just a little bit of work just to make sure that that goes in without having to force it in so that's my next uh, little project to do so and this is where I, I am going to remember to do it this time this is going to be a good two three could be even four days work for me uh, but for you it's going to be a blink of an eye as we say shazam and there we are so we've got his uh, paint down his base coat and it's all painted so I'm just going to show you a little run through of what I did just on that part okay so as you can see uh, we got the decks parts that were all black they're all masked off took a little while uh, but we got there in the end which meant I could put everything that needed priming onto my little polystyrene board that I use so that's them all set up there so it was then a case of priming and getting down the base colours as we can see in this picture here that they're all primed there and the next picture along there was two coats of the sea grey for the uh, base coat there on the conning tower and all the little bits and pieces left over that needed painting so there we go then so like i say that's primer and base coat all done no weathering what i have done is i've put the gun rests onto the deck you have the option of either attaching them just to the deck or you can have them on the gun i think that's just going to be far too fiddly um too many things for me to knock off because i am i'm a bit clumsy when it comes comes to little fiddly bits like that so uh let's say i'll just put that in situ there so we can have a look what it looks like so there we go it's coming along nicely and as you can see when that pipe uh, the snorkel goes up it attaches onto that pipe there which is obviously going inside and that's where they did uh, all the fresh air and everything on this version of the submarine okay so look back down there uh, I have glued on at the back the uh, tension rope guides there uh, I have had to use super glue on there because um the two pins at the back go in the holes but the the pin at the front was just a little short so you do have to work it a bit so i would advise using super glue on those parts there uh we've got the uh 
the periscopes I'm just going to paint those silver and the top part in German grey before I can put that into position uh, we've got the uh, tension uh, torque bars there for the ropes as well as the uh, the railings for the side so that's all for this video as we can see we've now more or less got all this base coat down so like I said I've just got to finish the uh, periscope get the periscope into place um, what I intend on doing is doing some weathering on the conning tower while I've still uh, got it off and I'm also going to be doing some weathering uh, on the hull uh, of the submarine as well while I've still got that off and when I'm happy with uh, how far we've got I'll be gluing that on today which means removing some of this paint off of there to make sure we get a decent uh, bond with the glue but that will be all for next video and that's the end of today's video I hope you all enjoyed that one Please remember, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my channel, it'd be very much appreciated. And also, don't forget to ring that little notification bell. Also, if you've got Facebook, you can follow me at Adrian Bauer Project. And if you've got a Twitter account, you can follow me at Project Bauer. So, with all that in mind, I'd like to thank you all again for watching. And it's to see you all again on the next episode of The Adrian Bauer Project. Thank you.